Good morning again. What's going on? It's April the 8th. I'm Red K and uh, the Loneliest Wolf by Choice not with me today. A um, couple uh, trailers that I wanted to get to today, but I'm going to wait for him to get on. We still got some pretty good news. Uh, this happened back at the beginning of February, but Embracer, the same company, the same Swedish company that bought TSU Nordic, Deep Silver. We haven't seen the Saints Row yet, but we haven't seen a couple games in the Darksiders uh, universe. So that's pretty, uh, pretty, pretty, you know, pretty uh, 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 good to see that they're and putting games, they're not just buying companies and let them do their own thing. They are giving them some money. But Embrace completes their $1.38 billion acquisition of Borderlands dev Gearbox. So now they have Gearbox, THQ, Deep Silver, Saber Interactive, and a couple others. So um, the amounts, they got about $765 million in uh, cash and about $450 million in stocks. So uh, they're getting their, their, their due. They're a Swedish company. Um, I thought WB Games was actually going to buy them, but uh, Embracer came in. They don't have any loyalties to any companies per se, but uh, hopefully it doesn't stop uh, the Gearbox uh, from putting out a Borderlands 4 or whatever else they want to do. Uh, Tales from the Borderlands, please put out. Just finish the Tales from the Borderlands. That's all I'm really asking you. All right. So um, that is complete. And uh, there's reports and talk that Hayao Kojima next game could be published by Microsoft. Microsoft throwing that money around just like. And uh, Kojima, famous for breaking companies for how much his games actually cost. Uh, I know that uh, Death Stranding sold pretty well on the PlayStation, but sold amazingly well. Like made their money back. They had they sold like, I think he said, I think it was um, 20 million copies on the PC, I want to say. Uh, not 20 million. It was about, it was about 10 million copies sold on the PC for Death Stranding. So I know they sold more on the PC than they actually sold on PlayStation, which is crazy. So Xbox, it's kind of makes sense if this is true, uh, uh, talking to, uh, to Hodea Kojima about putting the next uh, uh, efforts, the next game on the uh, games, uh, on Xbox, on Game Pass, which also caters to the PC at the same time, day and date. So it kind of makes sense. Uh, Kojima Productions, uh, even though PlayStation didn't give them a lot of money, to make Death Stranding and they make weird old games. Uh, <laughs> yeah, if Death Stranding, your poop was a weapon. Go look it up. Go look it up. Uh, I can see this because, you know, Xbox is trying to expand their influence in the West. I mean, in the East and Japan and uh, China and those markets where Xbox is not really favorite, even though they're sell, selling out right now because we can't get the systems. But uh, I see this could actually be a thing. Uh, admittedly, right now, this is actually a... Uh, a um, a rumor, but the rumor is backed up by some facts, man. A couple of industry insiders are saying that, yeah, it's important. So according to VentureBeat, which claims Xbox hopes to make their uh, uh, Death Stranding uh, Kojima Productions second game, uh, Xbox, at least not exclusive, a Game Pass, you know, uh, coming out of Game Pass, uh, while the site sources were unable to confirm if Microsoft is actually able to sign Kojima, if they signed on the spot of the line yet, but uh, Phil Spencer has been doing some shuffling from February, going back and forth to Japan, so it could happen. Um, and you know, even if the game is green, like, and even if Hodel Kojima's next game is greenlit for uh, Game Pass and Xbox, it's not coming out until like seven or six years, so. Good morning, FGC! What's going on? It's Ray K, hope you guys are having a great day out there today. And uh, Capcom wants to know what do you think? If you saw yesterday, they put out Oro, they showed us Akira, and they showed us Rose, who looks crazy, especially with her alpha uh, custom combos. Uh, but much like Arc System Works, uh, Capcom, this is kind of dangerous, are actually saying, what do you think about the job we've been doing as of late? I would say that Jeanette play is still pretty freaking bad. But I do like Rose. I do like the direction you're going with Akira. And I do like Oro. I'm foaming at the mouth to see what happens uh, and who the fifth actual character could be. But... Street Fighter V is in a better place probably than it's been the entire time of Street Fighter V, right? I like the game. Hopefully you like the game. I don't like the online. PC to PC is a little bit better. Um, but the game itself is good. So if this is what we can expect in Street Fighter VI, this uh, variety of characters with rollback netcode, because I promise you, every, every, every show we say it, no rollback, no buy. Uh, I think we're good. So um, this is out right now. This is on Capcom's website. You can go over there and uh, ask them what you're doing. What do you think? Uh, following the conclusion of the spring update stream, Capcom asks fans for direct feedback regarding 
how much they enjoy the announcement uh, format and also what should be changed moving forward. This is kind of big for uh, Capcom because uh, they don't really care what we think most of the time. But there's a change in the guard. Hopefully, um, they're taking their fighting game division as seriously as they're taking pretty much everything else. So uh, this was the online survey. I'm going to go ahead and click on it and uh, see where it takes us so you guys can see what the page looks like. And uh, definitely, if you uh, see we're at Street Fighter Five update, uh, yep, that's me. Boom, boom, bam. Uh, I am, I'm not going to tell you guys, but I'm not going to tell you guys. Let's just say, let's just say I'm 28. I'm, I'm 28. That's that's how old I am. Yeah, sure. Yeah, let's, let's go with that. Uh, and we are floor. Okay, we're, yeah, uh huh. Can I just take the survey in front of you guys? Ah! Oh. Okay, uh, gender, male. Um, yeah, I guess. Show more of the survey, I guess. Uh, you know what? I'm going to fill this out later, but you guys see what it is. Uh, definitely go over there. Um, check out the poll. I mean, the, uh, the, the feedback and give Capcom your honest feedback. And hopefully we can change, uh, for better. We're fighting games coming because as Street Fighter goes, so does the FGC. Let's, let's be honest. So, um, uh, we play esports ultimate fighting league. Uh, it's going down. Uh, it happened last week. It's happening this week again. The prize pool is up to $150,000. Uh, they did the MK stuff uh, last time, and they did a really good job. They had, like, a cheerleading squad up there. They were cheering and everything. Uh, the um, It's, like, in a cage environment, and it's, like, one person versus the other, and you're on opposite sides. It's very, very corona, you know, uh, 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 safe, you know what I'm saying? And then they had, like, a digital uh, banner that comes up and shows you what the player stats is and what they win and everything, and I, I really liked it. So um, big up to these guys. Matter of fact, it's actually going on as I'm talking right now, so check it out. If we can get it to play a little bit. See, that's this is live stuff, guys, right here. I'm showing you live stuff right here. I mean, live stuff right here. Li okay, so it's not working for me, right? So it was live. It's probably not live anymore. But uh, they're doing Tekken. And this is day one of the seven-day uh, Tekken tournament that they're having. They got some killers in there, man. That's JDCR, uh, uh, Arsalan, uh, uh, Saints in there. So, I mean, you know, of course, I was going to. Put my hat in the ring but i was like nah i'm gonna let i'm gonna let them get theirs you know what i'm saying but uh next time but uh definitely some good stuff to watch great presentation so i wanted to give a, a big up to we play sports man doing their thing um that's gonna do it for this episode of good morning fgc good morning gamer uh tomorrow me and the loneliest will buy trust me back uh, we got some more trailers of course we're gonna do the my trailer uh streets of rage got a trailer out and we'll see whatever's going on tomorrow until then uh be good be safe keep playing games and we out peace